is a close-up and armor. Big muscles gone to seed. It moves, but first we read Rodney. The design looks Chinese. Flash powder tattoo. In the beginning, there were rocks. And on those rocks, with harder rocks, we learned to make a million bruises to spell out things like, we were here and watch your water. They only moved it. The idea of bruises adding up to something from rocks to skin. A tendency toward motion pictures. In this case, on the forearm, slightly gone to seed, rockly. In a garland of roses and with a flag, 48 stars. The good old days. Flowers, flag, and Rodney in a military star. A one-man Arlington. Good luck, Rodney. Right when you can. I'll be here when you return. Unchanged, faithful, still desperately in love. We were made for one another. Remember, we were close, and when the arm moves fondly, making room for other things, we start a long, a slow release from Rodney and his history, and pulling back, as they say, widening the shot and unfolding. The world streams in the edges. I know what I'm doing. This is heaven. No, not yet. This is just the bar. And Rodney is the bartender, watching them come in as we watch Rodney. At 11 p.m. on a Tuesday afternoon, after a successful day at work, not exactly at the office, but at work, day off for music, what's better than a drink? Just a little one to celebrate, also to be seen, you know how that is. So Rodney's not the star. Star enters now with a friend, a slightly seedy older man, and smile. And why not smile? A job well done is a job worth doing. Around us in the bar, we hear the sounds of life. Things like... I say... Don't you read the Bible? And a place like that will make your skin loose. And you never know where they are on this portable equipment. And just one more time, then put it in the joke museum. And she wanted her savings and whatever she could get on credit. I said, ma'am. It's not my neck. What can an old fart like you do with all this money on a Friday morning? And, because if you're going to talk about the future, you got to talk about right here. This is where the future's at. And, after they was gone, she came and took over. You know how they bring them. And, he never told me how he'd do it, and I sure ain't about to ask. And, 22. And, He's been standing out in the back there every night for a year or so. He's never the same. After he came back, you know. And, well, I've done it three times, and three times is enough, I'd say. And, whoa, she's a cute little thing. Things like that. Rodney, on the other hand, is less idealistic. A little knowledge, dot, dot, dot. Rodney has seen the world. Now, don't forget the star and his friend who are strangers at this bar. The other one. And, for reasons we are yet to understand, bring out the worst in Rodney. Something about them makes him suspicious. If it's not the suit or shoes or shirt or the contract between the star and the other man, it's got to be the dog. 
he says, right off, we don't serve fine wine and half pints, buddy. Little things do wear out your welcome that I know. One is clothes, the perfection of the body. Another is the shoes, your distance, and the carriage of your shoulders, your self-respect. Not so much the color of the skin or hair, no. Lightness is another at least to call vivacity. Another probably at least is talk, including breath, and his eyes graded on a scale of five. Seven paces from the door to bar, and it's gone. My welcome. I'm no brown survivor here from a lost civilization. No mingling, please. Just, for instance, words from a gentleman behind the bar. A sort of prisoner. We don't serve fine wine and half pints, buddy. How could he know that that's my name? Well, that half a pint is just enough for me. Move closer to the bar to reassure him. Notice, thanks to this strange light feeling, don't keep from yourself the need to do good, sounds yes, earnestness of purpose, no. So, with his message, I adjust my body some to calm him. We're all in this together, aren't we? Hi, my name is Buddy. If I could help you make the load a little lighter, it would be my pleasure. We've all felt that it's hard, at least harder than we think it should be. And we look for change. It's my way, it's been given me to move among people and to know our nature. So I should not hesitate to share my thoughts and my experience with you. For instance, to begin from the beginning, as it should be. There is only one self, and that self is light. The self is ageless. The body has four forms, times, eras, four ages. But the self, the one and only self, is ageless, without age, without aging. The self is without coincidence being the only thing, the self. The self is without attainment being perfect. The body has four ages. First is the seed, and mainly we remember, and only have ideas about that form, because our consciousness, the reflected light of the self, as the moon is the reflected light of the sun, the self, in its orbit about the earth, the body, now in this age, happens to reflect on that part of the earth body in the region of the age of dot, 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 of the branches, palms. That is the seed, the age of the seed, is the age before the body is, quote, separated from the other body, before birth, as it were, that simple. Then comes the age of the root. Their beauty to our eyes is in their gnarledness, in the great emotions that they represent, in their great heat that they need the coldness of the earth to not explode from their own heat. There is so much of it. Pause. That's why childhood is like the root, and its gnarledness, and then its heat. And that's why children have to have a home when they are children, to absorb the heat and to relieve. No, not relieve the pain of gnarledness. I almost spoke wrong to make life possible in that age. After childhood, age of the root comes the age of the trunk, and that lasts some 30 years. That is, if childhood lasts some 14 years, then in the same way, the age of the trunk lasts some 30 years, maybe 35. To continue dot, dot, dot in the orbit of the consciousness about the body, there is a passing now from the region of the trunk into the region of the branches. I said earlier, if you remember, that the consciousness now is in the region of the branches. That was a form of speaking too soon. Pause. To be precise, it's passing now from one region to another. It's on the crest above the highest mountains, so one reason we remember and only have ideas about the form that's called the seed, as I said earlier, is that we are so far from it in time. We are as far from it as we can be. Another reason is, in passing from one region to another, 
there's a sort of slow that happens. So we are just awakening in the branches now. And things in general are still for E. I brought up this idea, the idea of the tree of life. To have something to compare the self to. We were talking about the self. We said the self is, without coincidence, being single. We said the self is, without attainment, being perfect. And we said the self is ageless, being what I don't know. The word eternal is a mystery. I don't understand that word. I can't say the self is ageless, being eternal. So I have to find another way of seeing, another way of understanding that the self is ageless. The way I've found works for me is, I say, imagine the self shaking for the first time. No more. Imagine the self learning to walk. No more. So the self must be as ageless as it feels. Has yourself changed? No. Do you remember when yourself was other than it is? No. The self is ageless. The self is without coincidence. And the self is without attainment. These things we know. The light of yourself, Rodney, is all around you for us to see. You say to me, we don't serve fine wine and half pints, buddy. And that sound is just what we expect and need. We take sound so much for granted, don't we? It's the sound of God. We don't serve fine wine and half pints, buddy, is the sound of God. And I'm allowed to use that word, because I'm brown. Does this break Rodney's heart? No. More than one part of Rodney is hard as stone when it comes to things like God. No, Rodney has heard it all. His chart today says problems of children or other loved ones likely to require the use of marital resources. Worry, strange word, is likely to be greater. Care with spending on creative project is necessary. A speculation may be disappointing. By concentrating on routine activities, depression, can be avoided. In other words, keep moving is Rodney's chart, and he interprets that to mean the money baby spent on lessons at the music store will not ensure her place among the crates of Boogie Boogie, or even get her playing at the bar. Happy she is, the traveler salesmen say, but boogie woogie, she is not. Thirty lessons guaranteed to merge, the left hand with the right, in one ear and out the other hand, across the great divide, some got it and some don't, she says at night. He lost it to the left hand memories, the structure. He lost it to the right hand, blue notes. I got it, Rodney's baby says, boogie woogie all the way. She goes down to the river when she can, the holy river where the notes came up from New Orleans, because it's there, the doctor says, she is enchanted. 
she has learned that short ideas repeated massage the brain. Always. Especially in the morning. Sometimes in the afternoon. Always. CCGCCGGCCBBCCGG. Industrial. Hard difference in cars, rocking things. You simply stand there looking out. Vast pauses between car events are illuminated by the crashing of the cosmos. Chew, crash, blink, crash, left, forward, forward, crash, rear, right leg, forward, crash, chew, crash, blink, crash, etc., etc., chew. Meanwhile, back at the trailer camp, in a cloud of cigarette smoke, she studies the video tape. Boogie Woogie rocks the airstream. You're so beautiful, but you gotta die someday. Give me a little loving before you pass away. Rodney will not pass away. Rodney's fortune is invested in the airstream. The double bedroom, bath, kitchenette, and living space sold through the fisheye lens and easy payments. Now recently enhanced, the bag to Morgan, double keyboard, speakers, and video cassette. Continuing education from the music store. 30 easy lessons, just do as I do. Watch. C C E E C C G G C C B B C C G G Always. Boogie Woogie is the vessel of the eternal present. That's the only way to use that word. She speaks of nowness. Everything is now, Rodney. Be with me now. Now. Give me a little love and now. This is all. Rodney's going crazy. His sense of now is rusty. The airstream and its obligations, six nights at the bar, the magnum double keyboard organ, patterns in a tapestry of one crash among, no, not among, in the line of crashes to eternity, separated by Buddy. Could we have the cowlick, please? Blink, two, left, four leg, forward, blink, etc. It does not occur to Rodney that he could lie down with animals. The bar is bad enough. Now he's met his nemesis. Nemesis face to face. And this brown fellow in his $800 suit. His priceless shirt and blue shoes made up the sky. And with a smiler at his side has just come in. The bar on Rodney's shift open. Brown fellow, but he speaks again. The moment is forever. Structure is a performance of mind and what is ahead of us and what's behind. The drone in all its forms must amplify the moment to create dimensions. It is the necessity of practice for those who are engaged. Otherwise, i.e., if you are not engaged, out of work, at your leisure, call it what you will, the moment has its own dimension. You can find it all anywhere. It is the abyss of the click. Under my teacher said it's but a click. That took years to understand. Aimlessly I wandered on the plane of time. I planned dot, dot, dot intersections. I drew intersections. Each was less clear than the last. And friends in physics, beg your pardon, said it's simple. Then the plane. I said, don't you watch the movies that's been tried and there was no relief. The Spanish tried, they curved their mustache to the plane of time and there was no relief. It only leads to laughing. Laughter is relief for those who are engaged. I was engaged, engage. Big deal, the click says. Thunder. Endless thunder on the rolling plains comes back to us in time like news. It's bigger than we thought. The pressure drops wildly to the Mississippi. There is still time. Insert. Call the groom. Dress the bride. This is the envelope of the click. It lifts us in our own air. It makes us pure. It is our ceremony. It is our reason. In Wyoming, it is heard upward. That's the word. Forever sideways on the plane to at least 
the Mississippi, the Holy River. Imagine the great curved plain, the plains, and all its markings. We were here and watch your water in markings on a scale of like centuries. The earth is drawn upon, drawing like lipstick on a mirror. In a scale of centuries to be seen and our presence read through the lens that is the moment of the click, lens to lens, touching self to self, the inside, if that's the word, to the outside, a word, if that's the word, forever. Forgetful of the plane, its markings, the intersections, the plans. Forgetful of the versions, the performances. You may kiss the bride, the lips to lips, the plane, the curved plane, the proximity of markings, the nearness of markings, which is why they were abandoned as our work here finally, in favor of smaller things. The light bruises. Markings on a scale of centuries are simple, process, deliberate. This is the beginning and this here is the end, drawn on the plane of intent. Big deal, the click says. Look directly at the lens, please. Smile. There you go. Short pause. The self speaks only to the self. The interchange of light suffices. It is sufficient to every moment of the world. It is all connections. It is all moments of the universe. It is flawless in all perfection. It is visible and imminent. It is devotion without impatience. It is understanding, all compassion and delight. It is riches. It is all permanence. It is the silence of the body incarnate, limitless and manifest. It is the rightness of our imaginations. It is the fire of the universe. It is all presence. It is what we know and it is complete. The interchange of light suffices. It is the knowable and unbounded. It is fullness without desire. It is the decided. The interchange of light is final and suffices. Just a sip or two and Buddy talks this way. The gift of chemistry. It was invented and within a generation everybody had it. That's in the record. Faster than aviation, faster than money, the news went round the world. Cooking is obsolete. You don't have to burn the chicken anymore to get heat. It comes in bottles right here at the bar. Yourself, poor as a church mouse, can blast open with sheer heat the sacred doors between the left and right. The virgin spinster music in the castle welcomes with open arms cigar smoking tongue and its mighty plans for past and future hot diggity oh boy we can have kids and they will speak a seamless merger of poetry and sound the great story shall be told again for instance he saw her and burst into flames spontaneous Combustion. Another case of sheer heat. The instruction book with the videotapes says the following in small type an apology of sorts, one thinks, for the isolation one feels in learning. Exaggerated or just amplified by the actuality of isolation in the airstream, locked in the plane of the intent on which markings of the history of Boogie Woogie stretch out in all directions. I think that's the way history stretches out. Quote, Television is neither true nor false. It 
watch industry. Seven, five, three, two. Television made without industry. Alone in a word. Six, four, three, two. Can cause a sinking feeling. There can be a loss of trust. Six, four, two. Fear not darkness, i.e. not industry. Desire. Everybody works to be a part of industry. To be part of industry is to be real. Six, four, three. If you're a part of industry, both in your industriousness and in the nature of your work, there's a chance that everybody will like your work. Because it is a part of industry. And things that are not part of industry are not possible to like. Seven, five, two. Likeability is less important than recognition by the industry. Six. And that's a reason to be serious. One wonders, naturally, what the average boogie-woogie student thinks of this. But then, maybe that's Buddy's charm. This is a close-up, and arm, big muscles, gone to see. It moves, but first we read Rodney. The design looks Chinese. Flash powder tattoo. In the beginning, there were rocks. And on those rocks with harder rocks.